another thing I'm not crazy about Lyft is uh, when I had a problem with first of all the app seems to have problems in my opinion my experience I guess I should say uh, I've had the thing turn off which I call crashing uh, several times often when I'm about to pick up somebody suddenly the app stops working and this little sign, this little lift sign on the front of my uh, car, the window sign, they call it your trade uh, something, not trade craft, but uh, trade dress or something like that, is uh, the back of it tells me the name of the person I'm picking up, and it says it's connected or not connected, it says hello in the morning to me, uh, so, when, so it's, it's a, making a contact with the app and knows the app's turned on, and knows the phone's nearby, that kind of thing. So when the app shuts down, like I might be on Waze looking for how to get to where I'm going to pick up. And then suddenly that, I see the back of that sign saying not connected to the phone. Well, that means that the app has crashed and is off. It's turned itself off. So then i got to get into the phone, find Lyft again, tap on that and get that up and running again. And then it says, oh, great, it's back on. Hi, how are you? you know, Hi, guys. It said, it said my name. Um, geez, they kind of hit me. So I, I don't know why it's doing that. Why is it crashing and stopping and turning off? When I'm right in the middle of picking someone up, I mean, I'm in the process of doing something, you know? This isn't just wandering around on and it turns off. This is right in the middle of a call, you know, right in the middle of a picking up a ride. Uh, that's one problem. The other problem is it arbitrarily so far, uh, at least three or four times, it just cancels rides, as far as I can tell. I've had it do it, I've had it happen at least three times for sure in very close uh, proximity to each other. So I don't know if they fixed it since, but one of the, the there's, there's like an A and B to that problem. The first A is the problem itself. The app just suddenly deletes the ride, and the people are literally in the car. People are sitting next to me in the car. People are sitting in the back seat in the car. And all of a sudden, I notice that the map is showing me how to get to their place is turning, you know, re recalibrates, and then it just comes up blank like it's just the map of where I'm at at the moment, and their route is gone. And then they look at their phone and they say, oh, my ride's off. My ride's gone. What happened? I say, I don't know. I thought you did it. I thought you were talking on the phone or you were playing around with it and you accidentally canceled it. Is what I thought happened. The first time I, I was you know, realizing what was going on. And they said, no, no, I didn't cancel it. So that was a whole big fiasco. In the case of this first person where I realized something was really happening, uh, it cancels the ride. But I'm still online. So as we're talk as I'm talking to this woman and saying, you know, why did you do that? And she's like, I didn't do it. And then I said, well, what happened? And she says, I don't know. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm halfway to the destination. But now the map doesn't show her the address she wants, the location. And it doesn't show the route because it thinks either I dropped her off or the, the, the ride's been canceled. I don't know. But in the meantime, I'm still online. And while we're having all this discussion, now suddenly Lyft starts throwing rides at me. One after another after another. There must have been three or four where they, I had to let them time out because I couldn't accept them because I have this person sitting next to me who's still in the middle of her ride. But because Lyft doesn't know that anymore, it just thinks I'm available. So once I realized I can't get her to straighten it out, I, I kept telling her, get online and make a new ride. Get online and make a new ride, and then I'll accept that ride. But somehow she didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to do it. She was redoing it, but from her original location, not from where she was right now, because that was in the car halfway to the new, to, halfway to the place where she wanted to go. So, you know, it was too confusing for her and for me, and I'm also driving now. And managing traffic and whatever and trying to figure out what the hell's going on so finally I just turned off the app 
so that I would stop getting rides that I'm missing now. And also, every time I let it time out, that's not just a uh, I missed call, that's a rejection. So, it's lowering my acceptance rating, which is part of the bonuses, right? That's got to be a 90% or higher. And since I just skipped, I don't know, three or five or whatever it was, my bonus, my acceptance rate was dropping the percentages. So I just turned it off and finally got it straightened out with her. And now part B of that problem is when I told Lyft about this problem and the fact that it happened once prior and once later, and I explained the whole thing and even saying that, you know, because I was still online, the, the app was throwing more rides at me, which would have been great normally, but since I can't accept them, I just let them time out. That's destroying my acceptance rating. Okay, so I sent them that email. They respond on the email with what is obviously some generic bullshit, frequently asked question stuff. And because I mentioned acceptance rating in my story, although the point of the story was that the Lyft app is canceling rides, I would think that's important to them, they don't mention that at all. All they do is give me some bullshit answers about your acceptance rating is based on the number of rides you accept and blah, 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 blah. You know, it's just like a, a textbook kind of explanation of the thing and what I should do about it, like accept more rides or something, I don't know. But they didn't even mention the fact that the app was canceling rides and, you know, that I thought that would be the priority. They didn't even mention it because it's just a, someone working, it's just reading off of a piece of paper or typing that in. Or maybe it's not even a person. Maybe it's just a robot that, you know, follows an algorithm. And because I mentioned acceptance ratings two or three times, it just gave me the acceptance rating answer <laughs> question. You know, to, to what it presumes was a acceptance rating question. When that I just only mentioned it because it happened in, in the in the in the uh, course of the story. So it kind of concerns me that uh, apparently Lyft doesn't have any real support, tech support, proper tech support by a human who can think through the problems. It just has generic people working there who are just you know assigned to answer the phone type of thing or answer the emails I guess in this case as opposed to someone who really knows what's going on and actually works for Lyft this looked this felt like it was being answered by an answering agency you know they just they're an agency that answers the emails they don't know what's happening they don't care that's not their business their business is just to respond to the emails not to really solve any problems all right let's see how tomorrow turns out today would kind of suck today's by one of the worst days i've had in a combination of different things that didn't work out but uh, it's just one day it's just one day we'll see how tomorrow looks my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs>